Hey everybody, I'm Josh. And I'm Rachel. Come along with us as we show you everything we did in Nashville, Tennessee over a three-day weekend. From the Grand Ole Opry to Broadway Honky Tonks. We ate Nashville hot chicken at three of the best the town has to offer. We checked out the Country Music Hall of Fame. And found a few hidden gems off the beaten path. Let's go! All right, so we just landed here in Nashville right about 30 minutes ago. Yeah, noon. <laughs> yes, we got a lift down to the downtown area. It took about 20 minutes and about $20. 20 bucks. Yeah, I don't think that's that bad, really. No. Now, we do have a Airbnb for the weekend. We do have some other friends that we're going to be joining with, but we can't check in yet. So that's what right. do you do with your luggage when that happens? It's a company called Stowe Station, and they meet you at the corner in a locked storage it's a truck. Yeah, truck. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. I mean, we're going to be able to lock our stuff up and yeah. go eat some lunch, grab some drinks, and then we'll pick up our luggage later and head to the Airbnb. That's right. And it really wasn't that expensive for um, our big suitcase and two backpacks. It was 20 bucks or yeah. 25 bucks, I think it was, which came with a discount. Our Airbnb host gave us a code for a discount. There we go. Booked it online. Have to have a reservation. You do have to show your ID so they know it's you and they give you tags that you have to have to pick up. So. There you go. And it allows us to go have lunch and drinks. That's right. Let's go. All right. We definitely want to start off with some hot chicken. The line at Hattie B's is a good 30 to 40 minutes, but at 5th and Broadway, at the newer area assembly food hall, we're gonna try the original hot chicken at Prince's. All right, so first stop has to be to eat. So we did check out Prince's Hot Chicken, which is the originator of the hot chicken. We did, we were in line at Hattie B's. Correct. And it was getting long and I was getting hangry. So I'll take responsibility yeah. It looked like it was a good 30 to 40 minute wait. Yeah. And so we decided to go into the Assembly Food Hall, uh, which is a newer area here at Fifth and Broad. And Prince's was great. It was good. We did chicken fingers or uh, chicken tenders and chicken sandwich. And let me tell you, make sure you get a side, whether it be the yes. French fries, the mac and cheese, the coleslaw, something. That stuff was hot. Yeah, that stuff was warm. Um, luckily, we did wash it down with some Hattie Jane's uh, Creamery ice cream. It was good. I did the uh, Nana pudding and the peanut butter with. Uh, brownie batter. It was delicious. I did some kind of honeysuckle one. I thought it was really good. It was much tamer in flavor than Josh's. Yeah. Mine were kind of overwhelming, so I didn't notice much on That's hers, right. but it was awesome. Let's go grab a drink.
right, it is 3.40. We are going back to the van down by the river <laughs> to try to get our luggage. Hope they didn't steal it. <laughs> yes. You All right, Josh. You've been here like three hours. What's your impression of Nashville? A lot of music and a lot of drinking is going to happen this weekend. Yeah, it's a fun, fun yes. vibe. Um, and so, it's not like a long way in between places. No, everything is very close. The food it seems to be fairly cheap compared yeah. to like what we're used to in, in Vegas and other big cities. I agree. But the drink is not. Yeah, the um, drinks are pretty pricey. Yeah, so far we're about eight to nine dollars a beer. They also know that that's where people are coming here. Sure. So that's of course what they're going to. Up well, still, so. and that's because we are on Broadway. But sure. we're gonna go grab our luggage and check into our room. All right. So the good news is the van is here. <laughs> Let's hope our luggage is still in there, but I was just going to mention, if you don't like the music you hear, either go one floor up or one door over because <laughs> there is non-stop live music here. Yes. It's pretty awesome. All right, successful yeah, still station. Um, um, literally, he was parked like four blocks away from Broadway. Yeah. We got our suitcase. We got to have some fun. And now we're going to go find the apartment, get that all settled for the trip. All right, we made it over to the Gulch. And we are right across the street from Biscuit Love, which we have heard is like one of the best places to have breakfast. So we're definitely gonna do that. But we're gonna go ahead and get checked in, get settled in, and we'll catch up with you after. All right, I do wanna give a quick little rundown of this place. So there is five of us that are gonna be staying here. And I gotta say, I am pretty excited about this. Um, we are here on Memorial Day weekend, but this has two bedroom, two bath. We're gonna have five people in here. I think it'll sleep comfortably, um, but it was right around like $2,000 to $2,200 for, for us to split it, which seems pretty decent because check out this room. And then it's got a view right out to the kind of a cool corner here in the gulch. Um, and then we did hear that Biscuit Love, if you want to get there, Monday is going to be the key day for us. We'll see. You know, we might be able to try to get there earlier. There is a pool that's affiliated with this place. So if you're interested in it, you know, drop a message down below and I can let you know about it. But definitely seems pretty cool. It is obviously it's not super cheap, but it is a holiday weekend and it can sleep a large group. All right, we are unpacking, but I do want to say we picked up a couple snacks. What is your go-to snack when you're on a vacation? We went with red vines and sweet tart ropes. Definitely enjoy both of these. So leave a comment down below with what you bring on any vacation. freshened up we got some drinks and stuff in the apartment and now we are checking out the Grand Ole Opry it's our first concert here at the Grand Ole Opry and we're both really excited for this. yeah come along with us don't worry we already waited in line for you too so there is a cool store that is right next to the Grand Ole Opry but if you do come and you want to buy something be ready to wait in line or get here early because here's your line. Tennessee, this is the Grand Ole Opry presented by Humana. And to kick it off tonight, multi-time Grammy Award winners, members of our Grand Ole Opry family, they're America's favorite cowboys, Riders in the Sky. Sometimes almost magic 
So the Grand Ole Opry was awesome. Oh my gosh, if you're ever in Nashville, you just gotta go. Yes. It was so cool. Um, and the parking lot is crazy right outside there. So we were actually getting a lift and we ended up um, paying, it was, it was a bit more, was but bit more. there was one of those guys who had like a nice, not an Escalade, but something like it. Um, so we did pay to get down to Midtown, um, grab some Hattie Bees. We are headed back to the apartment. So we're gonna show you the food there, but we got a heck of an order. And again, if you ever are in Nashville, you need to make it over to Grand Ole Opry. Yes, back to the Grand Ole Opry. It was yeah. awesome. It was so good. Um, it ended up being eight artists. Everybody sang one to four songs. Yeah. And like, it was just good. There's not a bad seat in the place. We were somewhere in the middle and yeah. it was great. It was so wonderful. Yeah, happy to go. Would definitely do it again. Yep. All right, we are back. We're actually in that um, large space at our <laughs> Airbnb, but we got a ton of stuff. We got some French fries. Oh, that's more Wait, fried pickles. we got more fried pickles. I thought we got French fries, but maybe we're getting extra stuff. We got some mac, mac and, and cheese. cheese. We got some potato salad. Potato salad. Banana pudding. Oh yes. What we got here. But this is the sandwich. Ooh, yep. Sandwich. All right. That does not looking. look as uh, messy. Not as messy as Prince's. Yeah. Um, Prince's was a mess. Right? This one is oh, the tenders. chicken tenders, which it's going to be, one's hot. we'll probably figure out because one is hot and one is my, or medium. Oh, I would guess it's the, maybe this is the medium. Mm -hmm. There we go. And there's the fries. And the fries. So tons of food. We're going to dig into this. All right, so we've wrapped up Hattie B's. Um, Hattie B's versus Prince's. So Prince's is the original. Hattie B's is the most popular here in town. What is your vote? I, I'm gonna have to go with Prince's. I like the flavor of Prince's mm -hmm. better, especially the sandwich. Yeah. The sandwich at Prince's, I think, was the best thing that we had it was in really my good. mind. Yeah. Um, I thought that the sides were pretty comparable. French fries were about the same. Yep. The mac and cheese I thought was a little bit better over at Prince's, but Hattie B's had, um, I did like the uh, potato salad the more I ate it. Yeah. Because it, it actually really helped good. cool down the mouth. Yeah, and I think we got some grits as well, cheesy grits. They were yeah. really good too, just something different. I'm with you, the sides are comparable. Um, the chicken sandwich hands down goes to yeah. Prince's. The tenders, I thought these ones were more moist. Yeah. So I really liked Hattie B's tenders more than Prince's. Yeah, we had one at Prince's that was a little overdone maybe. Yeah. And so it was a little was bit dry. dry. But otherwise, I, it's hard to go wrong. I don't think you can go wrong with either get, place. Get yeah. one of them and I swear tomorrow, all right, I'm not gonna swear that we don't eat hot chicken. We might eat but hot chicken. But we, we are gonna aim for some other stuff. So stick around, we'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. Good morning. All right, so the good thing about um, our apartment is we can see as the line grows at Biscuit Love, it is 7.30. And it and was it, growing. Yes. <laughs> and yeah, we got up about 7.15 and we were like, oh, there's nothing going on. And then all of a sudden it is now 7.30 and it's 10 deep. It does appear that it moves fast, so that's good news. But we slept in for us this morning too. Yes. So <laughs> we'll take that piece too. Yes, but now Biscuit we eat. Left.
All right, we just wrapped up over at Biscuit Love. I'm full. Yes, I'm so oh full. my God. It was good. Very yes, good. It, it was very good. Um, if I was like all the way across town, I don't know. I don't know if I'd, I'm with you. I don't know if I'd make a special trip here. Right, but it was extremely it was really good, good. And if you're anywhere close, like within a mile radius, I would come grab okay. it. The The value was good too for like 50 bucks. You know, we, we ordered enough for three plus Four. people probably. <laughs> yeah. um, I thought the chicken was really good. The biscuit was nice and fluffy. The bow nuts were a little bit heavier than I expected. They were heavy, but that cream on top, yeah. I thought it was almost like a cream cheese. It was not. It was like a homemade cream. It was right. delicious. And the winner though, the cinnamon roll. So good. <laughs> Dang. And I had never seen anybody get that before, but yeah. yeah, that was delicious. Service was great. Good price. Try it out. All right, 1030. The line is definitely, that's about as far as we've seen it get. So it, it gets pretty long. But we're gonna go ahead and check out the gulch and see what kind of stuff we can find. All right, one block away is the wing mural, which you can see there is a nice size line for it. So add your wings. Oh yeah, there is a kid wing one over there. All right, change of plans. Uh, we ended up just going by a few restaurants and, and bars, but we are headed to Broadway. We're gonna try to start the honky tonks early it looks like next bar made it to the rooftop a couple local beers Alright, so we found our way down to Broadway and now we decided we're probably just going to drink at every bar yeah. on this one side. We're here for three nights, so we might, we'll drink the other side tomorrow. We're doing water at every stop, or that's the goal. We're doing water at every stop for two so far. So, but so far, it's so okay. <laughs> yeah, but the earlier the better as far as if you want to get these uh, um, rooftop, rooftop views. Yeah. views. It's awesome. So, so cheers. Cool. Alan Jackson's is next. And it's five o'clock somewhere. Taco Berea. It's like a Berea taco 
That's about it. Right? Looks good. Snap. <laughs> Alright, the tacos were great. Yeah, the tacos are very good. Uh, we slowed down a couple a couple Diet Cokes, but we're headed back on the bar crawl. That's right. Alright, starting back up on the bar crawl, we are headed back over and gonna do Broadway Brew House to Mojo. Because we are last at Honky Tonk. Before we continue this journey that we're on, hoping to get into the distillery. Has great reviews online. We had dinner at the distillery. Very good food. It was a three hour wait in the regular spot, but if you go right next door up the stairs, it's first come, first serve. Good food. Really enjoyed it. Yeah, the fries were great. The burger was good. Very good. Yeah, let's go. something simple we ran over to five daughters bakery which is supposed to be the best donuts here in town yeah, hundred layer donuts. yes so they look like the croissant donut mix um, very excited for them we ended up getting a dozen six different flavors yes <laughs> should there be good are five of us yeah sure. there are <laughs> um, the donuts are a little pricey hopefully they live up to the price tag yeah. all right so here's our six flavors um, I think this is hopscotch, which I'm unsure what that is. I'm hoping it's kind of butterscotch. This is Vietnamese cream, or Vietnamese coffee cream. Uh, this is a blueberry lemon, a coconut cream, uh, maple and bacon, 
which they call King Kong, and then the purest, so a glazed one. Looks awesome. And they're all the uh, 100 layer ones. All right, so there you can see the, all the layers, and then they do infuse some of the cream right inside there. That looks delicious. So, talk about the donuts. Uh, I thought they were really good. The donut itself is pretty light, but the cream on the inside and then what they put on top makes it like really filling. Really filling. So you definitely don't need to eat like three or four of those donuts. One and a half and I was like tapped out. And I do think they're worth the trip, especially if you can get one. There's at least two or three locations here in Nashville. Yep. And it's, and a, it's a local place, yeah. so you know, support it. Um, then we just went to Burger Republic for lunch. Uh, I ended up with a, I think it was called the Burger Republic actually, yeah. and some Nashville tots. The Nashville tots were addicting. They were so good. There's like a dry Nashville sauce, or dry Nashville rub yep. on it. It was really good. I had the four cheese and garlic burger. I thought it was really tasty. I didn't notice four different cheeses, but I don't care. It had plenty nah. of cheese on it. And sweet potato tots, which are one of my favorites. Yeah. Hard to go wrong with tots. That's right. Um, but we're going to try to stay in the Gulch area today. We tried to yesterday and all of a sudden we had 14 hours <laughs> on Broadway. So we'll see where we go. Alright, we get out a cool place to play some games, have some drinks. Pins Mechanical Company. We actually just walked it about eight blocks probably. So we just got done over at Pins Mechanical Company. Highly recommend it. Yeah. Lots of fun. Um, we first started out by playing some video games, which were free. Yeah, I got a high score on one. I was she did. Excited. Um, and we beat X Men. And then also you can play like Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, tons of different games. Ski ball. We did. We ended up doing ski ball, some like rope toss. Um, but all the things are free. There are some things that cost like. I think it's called duck bowling or duck, duck pin bowling, pin. Mm -hmm. but that's like six dollars. Yeah. Um, we chose not to, and I, I think the way that they, the way that they are able to do it for free is because like the drinks are pretty expensive. Yeah, it was twenty bucks for two tall beers though, but that's not yeah. terrible. I mean, it's we're not it on Broadway. Worse. Yeah. So, but you're definitely paying it around Broadway prices for your drinks. Yeah. Um, but it was a lot of fun. Definitely recommend. A lot of stuff to do. 
a lot of like outdoor fun yard game type things. So much, yeah. so much to do. Fun for the whole Check family. That's right. All right, so pretty relaxing afternoon. Yeah. Just had some drinks out on the patio, people watching on the balcony. Which is super fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but we are walking to the JW Marriott. We are going to eat at um, one of our favorite um, chefs yeah. in Las Vegas, Michael Mina. He has a steakhouse here at the top. Called Bourbon Steak? Yes. Yeah. So hopefully we can get a good steak dinner. It is our last day here in Nashville. We only have about three and a half hours. Yeah, not, not long, uh, yeah. but just long enough to get up, have a cup of coffee at the apartment and check out. So. Yep. So we checked out. We did drop our bags off once again over at Stowe Station. Stowe Station. It's very convenient. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Um, but we're going to try to check out the Country Music Hall of Fame and then probably go down Broadway one more time. Right across the street from the Country Music Hall of Fame and Museum is the Music City Walk of Fame. Check this out. And then we're headed back over towards Broadway.
honky tonk. Looks like Garth Brooks is building one, and we also saw Eric Church is building one too, so lots more coming. All right, we're headed back to the van down by the river. That's right. It's been a great weekend, yes. and I want to come back. <laughs> um, now, we're not done yet. That's right. So stop the wrap up. Okay. We got more hot chicken coming. <laughs> That's true. Um, it is one place that we actually wanted to go to in town, but we knew it was at the airport. So we were going to do that again. But we did try out Johnny Cash's barbecue. Yeah. Kitchen it was barbecue. fine. It was okay. Um, it's a good location, good atmosphere. The band was good. Uh, right. The price was good too. Yeah. And we got to try out the honky tonk. I've been wanting to try since we got yes. here. Tootsies. So that was really fun too. There we go. So one more place to eat. And then a wrap up then a wrap up. So as you can see, we just went to Party Fowl, and um, my mouth is still burning. <laughs> we were sweating a bit, and my eyes were watering. It's like steam my glasses. Like I can't yes. really take my glasses off um, my head. <laughs> so we ended up ordering the same thing, which was yep. the hot sandwich mm -hmm. and the medium for the chicken tenders. And the hot was the hottest of the hot. Yes, and this sandwich <laughs> was different because it did have cheese, bacon, lettuce, tomato on it. Yeah. It didn't help. No. Cut the... <laughs> yeah, that thing was hot. Um, the really chicken cool. tenders we did think were, I, I thought they were comparable to Prince's and yeah. Hattie B's. Yeah, they were really good. Yeah. Um, but the sandwich, I would say it was definitely not better than Prince's. I, I like Prince's sandwich by far the best of Agreed. the three. So if you're a chicken sandwich person, I'd say go that way. Yep. Otherwise, I thought all the, all the tenders were pretty reasonable. Yeah, and I think they were pretty comparable. I had one dry one at Prince's, so it kind of right. ruined it for me a little bit I thought bit the flavor, that, though, was the really flavor, good. Yeah, it was super good. Um, and I thought the best side at all the places was the mac and cheese. Yes, except we did order pimento cheese at... Uh, yeah, we did an appetizer, and, and that, that was, was good. good. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but overall, that is going to be our last one. We're already in front of our gate. Yep. What's your over th overall thoughts on Nashville? I love it. I want to come back. Yep. Mm -hmm. Lots of fun. Yep. Definitely a repeatable thing. Yep. Um, I love the free music. Yes. Mm -hmm. I think that was the, the highlight yep. by far. Um, free entertainment everywhere. Yep. Now, if you're drinking, it's going to be expensive. Mm -hmm. Um, even here at the airport, the beers were actually cheaper than they were downtown. Which is odd. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh well. If you're enjoying our videos, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. You can also follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All our links are down below. Thank you.